we want to demystify paella. Yes. I want to, I want to make it simple and easy. I think I think folks get too uh, too They're caught up with it. They're intimidated yeah. by it. So we're going to make it uh, you know the Garces way. It's beautiful. That's what yes. the people want. Exactly. All right, let's get started. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. So I have I have my paella pan. This is a 14 inch paella pan. It's a beautiful pan. It's a nice pan. You know, and I think you know this one has been in the restaurants. It gets a lot of use. Yeah, you've had this while. Yeah. You know, the more I find the pans, like the more you break them in, the more flavor there Absolutely. is. Absolutely. They're and seasoned. Think, that's right. And I think it definitely goes goes to say that for paella pans. And this one has you know has seen some seen some battles right yes all right all right so here I'm gonna uh, I have some chicken breasts and chicken thighs this has been heavily marinated I can see heavily marinated yeah it just has a little bit of uh, paprika and garlic now is that like a smoked Spanish paprika it's a smoked Spanish paprika a little bit of garlic mm -hmm. some olive oil just pureed yeah and yeah and then just a little bit of salt and pepper how long do you let that marinate for? So I usually like to let it marinate overnight okay. or so. Now, do you not salt the marinade? Because I see you're putting salt on it now. No, I don't salt the marinade because I don't want to necessarily cure the cure the chicken or gotcha. start to create that um, cooking process. I so want that. A, yeah, I want that to happen in the pan. All right, that's a good tip. Uh, all right, so I have a little olive oil, and okay. this pan is going to be really hot. Big time. Yeah, you can yeah. already see it starting to sizzle. I'm going to pull it off. And so the thing with paella pans, it's, it's a lot of temperature gauging. Because mm, so it's thinner. It's, it's not like a thick cast it's iron. It's very thin. And so I'm getting, getting my olive oil nice and hot. And I'll usually like, what I want to get is some nice browning on this chicken. Yeah. And you can see already the pan has cooled down. Yeah, totally. So I'm going to bring it back over and get it hot again. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pull this, pull this chicken off. And we also had some, we had some lemon, kind of little lemon yeah, slices in, in here. Yeah. So they've kind of gotten nice and caramelized. Yeah. You know, we're going to start to build the flavor of this paella. So the okay. chicken's nice and brown. And the reason we brown it is to seal in some of the juices, mm -hmm. but also to create this nice bond on the bottom yeah, of the pan. Yeah, you all those brown bits. All the little bits, and those are going to be deglazed. I'm going to pull this off to the side. I'm going to bring my, bring my pan back. Okay. I'm going to add a little more olive oil here. And then we're going to start to render out some chorizo okay. as well. So another batch of chorizo. If you don't like chorizo, this is not the That's show for bad. you. <laughs> yes, if you do, you're in, you're in a good place. So I'm gonna render, that chorizo is gonna go pretty quick. Yeah, it already got really nice and brown on one side. Yeah, and really what, I'm, what I wanna do here is I want the, chorizo is made with a lot of, a, a good amount of pork fat mm -hmm. and paprika and garlic. So what I want to have happen is I want some of that fat to start to leach out of yeah. the chorizo. And then we're going to add some aromatics. Okay. And that is a mixture of peppers, sweet peppers, and onions. And I have a little bit of chopped garlic over there, Nicole, right? That sliced sure. garlic. Yep. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic in there. Nice. All right, so we have our. Valencia rice or Calasparra rice. It's a short grain. Very short. Yeah. Teeny tiny. Smaller than yeah. You, I mean, than an arborio. It's right. right in the same family, but a little a little smaller. What I'm what I want to do now is coat all those kernels. So this is a really important step. Am I right? Yeah. You're toasting the rice. Mm -hmm. You're kind of sealing it sealing it in, mm -hmm. and you're getting some of those aromatic flavors on the rice okay. itself. This is looking nice and toasty. We're gonna add our, we have a saffron chicken broth. Nice. And this was just made with uh, just a good quality stock and fresh saffron. And really, the rice is gonna take on the character of this stock. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna taste it, pull that off. So it's important that you're working with a high quality stock for this. Yeah, you really, I mean, this is really, this stock or broth, this is really where, this is what the rice kernel is going to soak yeah. in. Yeah. So if this is bland or doesn't not not well seasoned or doesn't taste good, then your rice is not going to taste sure. good. Sure. Yeah. I'm moving pans just to make sure we don't burn things here. Boom. Okay. Let's taste this, Nicole. What do you think? Okay. Okay. I'm going to give you a little spoon. Oh, I get to taste too. You get to taste. Yeah, My lucky day. You go give that a shot. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, I love the saffron in there. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So it's a very simple, straightforward 
mm. uh, chicken broth with some bloom saffron. Yeah. I'm gonna add this in to my paella. What's the ratio rice to liquid? It's about, for a cup of rice, about one and a quarter cup of stock or broth. So a cup of rice, one and a quarter. Yeah. Okay. Not equal, just a little bit more. Yep. And that usually gets it done. I'm gonna let this come up. Now I'm gonna add a few important ingredients to this right. to kind of make this paella kind of come up a little, you know, elevate it a little bit more. We have some uh, fresh peas. You always work with fresh peas? Uh, in, while they're in season, mm -hmm. yes. And this is you know, kind of a, a traditional, you know, traditional ingredient in paella. So laborious. It is, it is. <laughs> but worth it. Yes, and we have some olives I'm putting in here. These are just black Kalamata olives. Nice. I have some piquillo peppers. Beautiful. Two of these guys. Now, could you finish this entirely on the stove if you wanted to? You could. I just find that the rice doesn't cook as evenly. Mm, okay. So I, I actually cover it with a little foil and put it in the oven. And I'm going to throw my chicken back in here. And it's important that I submerge it into mm. the stock because it needs to continue to cook. But it's okay. also going to flavor the rice. Sure. Yum. Yeah. It's so colorful already. Ah, this is this so is much a, going this on. This is the thing of beauty. You know, we eat with our eyes. Definitely. I've got my mussels here. I'm gonna put these okay. in here. All right. I'm going to cover it with foil and put it in the oven. All right. And you know, it's important that you let it come up to a simmer. Just let it like you know before you put it in the before oven. Before you put it in, yeah, it kind of gets the rice started. Okay. And you get a tight seal on the foil, or do you want to yeah. leave a little? Yeah. I want to leave a little. I want to leave a little room. Okay but not too much. So we had this one cooking, yeah. right? We had one going already. And so you can see it just looks, mm. looks beautiful. It looks awesome. Yeah. And so what you're looking for is a little bit of crunchiness okay. on top and then a creamy rice center. So this rice center is, see how creamy that is? Yeah. So then that, and that shows you, so you're gonna get some rice kernels that are fully popped. Mm -hmm. And then the top part sometimes can be a little crunchy and that's and that's okay. That's right. part, part so of the deal. you want a little bit of textural contrast in there. That's right. And then, you know, a key to paella, and everyone says this, is, is the sakurat, right? So the, the, the crispy part. So here. That's what I'm all about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back on the heat. Okay, so that's how you get that. And I'm gonna let it crisp up. Nice, you can and, already hear it, it's talking to us. And I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it almost burn. Okay. You ready for that? I'm ready. We'll see how I'm it goes, it. all right? <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> to finish this guy, we have a few elements. I have some nice, Fresh baguette that we're gonna put on there. I have some beautiful saffron aioli. Nice. And we're just gonna, and the aioli's a big part of it. So this is a, a garlic mayo mm -hmm. finished with saffron, and it adds just the right amount of creaminess right. to this whole. Really kind of livens it up. Yep. And then we'll put some of our beautiful leaves on there. A little bit of olive oil. And I think we're good, sokarat-wise. Awesome. I can smell it, yeah. it's coming. And I'm gonna hit it with some fresh lemon petals too. 